I am delighted once again to be here this morning to officially launch the start of the 2024 tobacco marketing season. This is an important event in the country's farming calendar as agriculture remains one of the key sectors in our accelerated drive to achieve an empowered and prosperous upper middle income society by 2030. And that shall be achieved. And, to, and um, Minister of Agriculture plays a major role in us achieving that vision. And you as tobacco farmers, here present uh, today, and those who, are still, who have remained home, who couldn't manage to wake up this early hour, wherever they are, you play a major role in making sure we achieve our vision. You are all aware that in 2020, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Dr. Emerson Damuzom Nangagwa, launched the Agriculture and Food Systems Transformation Strategy. This has now been refined to the Agriculture, Food Systems, and Rural Transform uh, Transformation a rural transformation strategy aimed at enhancing agriculture, production, productivity, and profitability in line with the National Development Strategy 1, 2021 to 2025. Thereafter, I think we will be going into our National Development Strategy 2 which will take us from 2026 to 2030. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, government regards the tobacco industry as a sector that has great potential to grow and increase our country's foreign exports. Yes, we have got the other sector, the mines and minerals, but agriculture with tobacco currently at the helm plays a major role in our export earnings. This realization led the, to the launch of the Tobacco Value Chain Transformation Plan. The thrust of the, of the transformation plan is to transform the tobacco value chain into a US 5 billion industry by next year, 2025. Yes, we have been affected by El Nino, which has been explained by both the chairman and the honorable minister of um, lands and agriculture. But this phenomena is not new. We have had these experiences before, and we have come better each time. So yes, this, is, um, this has affected all of you, all of us. But I think there is light in the tunnel, as we are being told that uh, this 2024 into 2025, the season might be far much better. So let us be prepared to achieve this um, transformation plan to transform the tobacco uh, industry and achieve the US 5 billion. This will be achieved through increased production and productivity increasing local production to 300 million kilograms annually, localization of tobacco production financing, value addition and beneficiation, as well as exports of cigarettes, employment creation, and raising household incomes, among others. I was talking to the chairman and the honorable minister that uh, I think 
We have exported enough of our raw leaf. We need to benefit it. And it is you who must come up with this value chain. We must not end at only growing, but we must go further to benefit this important crop that we grow here in Zimbabwe. And I know you can, we, you can do it, and together we can do it. So, <clears throat> the government is pleased to note that the tobacco production in the country has, rebound, has rebounded significantly since the advent of the land reform program. Zimbabwe produced 211 million kilograms of tobacco, 212 million kilograms, and a record 296 kilograms in 2021, 2022, and 2023, respectively. The target is now to increase production from the current 296 million kilograms to 300 million kilograms annually, as stipulated in the Tobacco Value Chain Transformation Plan. Yes, this year it, we can slide low a bit because of the season. But I'm happy that the estimates which have been given um, regardless of um, the difficult year we have all experienced, we are still in that um, 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 region that we are not going to go down. We definitely will not go down below the 2021 uh, figure, but we will be hovering. Whilst we cannot get the 300 we wanted, but um, we are, we, we, I'm happy that um, the irrigation crop has proved to be good and um, it is the dry land um, crop which, um, uh, uh, which has um, uh, suffered you know, you know, a bit. But the season is, is looking good that 2024 we will recover. In this endeavor, I challenge all stakeholders in the tobacco value chain to work hand in glove to achieve and surpass this target. Government through the Ministry of Finance and Economic Development and Investment Promotion remains committed to capacitating tobacco farmers by localizing finance for the 150,000 producers. We are aware that some bottlenecks in rolling out the program which the responsible ministry has addressed. Furthermore, in a bid to mitigate the increased cost of production, the foreign currency retention for tobacco growers for 2023-24 tobacco marketing season was standardized at 75% which your chairman has already advised you, in line with the retention levels for other market players. We think it, we, it was not right to, to discriminate. We all have to put all our market players at the same level. This effectively means that 25% Will, uh, will be paid to tobacco growers in local currency. I urge growers to participate at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe auction to get foreign currency from the United States dollar payments which you are going to be receiving. And ladies and gentlemen, government is concerned that we still export 98% of our tobacco in raw form. 
in the process, exporting jobs and value. We need to create jobs here in Zimbabwe. We need to add value to our produce. And therefore, we must all, as I have said earlier, think outside the box and see how we can value our produce. And you as tobacco, uh, tobacco farmers, you play a major role. In tandem with our value addition and beneficiation trusts, the Second Republic has laid down a comprehensive plan in the tobacco value chain. I am pleased with the current investments in tobacco processing plants in the country to give impetus to value addition from the current 2% of tobacco produced to over 30%. As government, we are creating an enabling environment for entities interested in value addition and beneficiation of Zimbabwean tobacco in the broader framework of private sector-led economy. This year, ladies and gentlemen, Zimbabwe will be hosting Tobacco Africa from 15 to 16 May, World Tobacco Africa will host the All New Africa Leaf Tobacco Conference alongside an exhibition of suppliers to the industry. Let us be part of this great platform and highlight the strides Zimbabwe is made in transformation from growing to processing, while illustrating the great investment potential in Zimbabwe. As I conclude my remarks, let me besiege the tobacco industry and marketing board to ensure fairness and transparency in tobacco marketing and that all stakeholders receive fair value from their investment. In the same vein, all farmers should continue growing tobacco in a manner that is sustainable and environment eco-friendly. If we cut the trees, then it is as some of the trees we cut, they have taken maybe over 500, 1,000 years, 2,000 years to grow. So what has been encouraged here to, to have woodlots, we've discussed a bit with the chairman and the minister, let's all do that so that we, at the end of the day, we are eco-friendly. We keep our environment for us now and for the future generations to come after we are all gone. With these remarks, it is now my singular honor and privilege to declare the 2024 tobacco marketing season officially opened. I thank you.